Hi, Reverend Lynch Lady here, also known as Love Coach Macy. Wanted to share with you a special flirting tip. So if you have wondered, what do I do to connect or how do I reach out or should I even be reaching out? Here's what I wanna offer. This is a three step process or maybe three points to consider around how you can connect to someone. And before we go even any further, I just want to address this whole idea of, wow, should women initiate or is that going to seem too forward or is that putting me in my masculine or blah, 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 blah. Here's what I know is that we are all individuals and if you are wanting that love relationship and you know that that's important to you, let your curiosity lead you. And I will say that if we are stuck in fear, stuck in insecurities, and haven't sort of done the inner work to really be in your own awareness and not choosing or acting out of, you know, avoiding fear or acting out of ways that are basically other people's points of view about what it looks like to create the perfect relationship, then it's going to be really hard to navigate the dating space in service of you. So this process is only as good as really your own inner work. And if you need help with that, please reach out to me and let's schedule a time to talk about how you can absolutely get to a place where you have that safety and security within yourself that gives you the awareness of you that you need so that you're not acting from all of these external things or the fear or the insecurity. So from here, you know, we often hear, oh, well, you know, men need to approach you. I want that masculine man. And really what it is, is helping someone feel confident in the connection with you. So what is it that you can do to actually invite someone to start a conversation? And how can you initiate from a space that is um, really authentic to you and authentic to the situation? Because every experience is gonna have its own energy. So I call this the Big Happy Love ACT formula, which is an acronym, A, C, and T. And these are the things that you can consider when you're out and you're wanting to initiate a conversation or when you're online and you see someone that you think is really interesting and you want to reach out. This really can give you a simple guideline to just at least try on to see if it feels good for you. So we'll dive into the different letters so you know what they mean. The first one is A, and that stands for acknowledge or appreciate. So simply online, it's pretty easy to do this because if you've read their profile or even seeing their pictures and there's something that piqued your curiosity, it's either something that, that they wrote or you know maybe something about one of their pictures and the first one a is an opportunity to acknowledge or appreciate something about that person and you know keeping it simple like oh i really love that you volunteer at an animal shelter uh, uh, usually that means that there's something about that that lights you up too so that's the first step is to acknowledge or appreciate something about someone. If you're out in public, it may be, you know, wow, um, I see you're wearing a 
um, Colorado College sweatshirt, you know, did you go there? You know, something like you're just, you're noticing something neat and you, you lead with that acknowledgement or appreciation. And then the second one, which is C, number two is C, and C stands for connect. And in connecting, I invite you to connect with that person in a way that actually communicates how you are connected in a way. So, you know, with the appreciation, obviously talking about the animal shelter thing, there's likely that there's something about that that you connect to too. So, you know, perhaps you say, yeah, I, you know, initiated the um, furry scurry last year, which raised some money. Or, you know, I also volunteer at this other place, or I've always adopted rescue animals. Something that connects you with that person and that person with you. So then that already is opening up more space for that person to feel really welcome in your space. You know, when we are, um, you know, when, when people, especially I would say men, you know, there is, we don't really acknowledge how much courage it takes for a guy to see someone out in public or see someone they're really like interested in and feel confident or courageous enough to initiate on their side. Like that also is something that takes some energy. So the more that we can be the one that creates space to be welcoming, in the way you write your profile, in the way that you are in a public place and maybe make eye contact or smile and keep an open posture, all of those become nonverbal invitations or nonverbal ways of saying, hey, if you approached me, you might be successful <laughs> or you'll likely be successful. It's probably more accurate. So that, you know, when we're playing mysterious or cold or standoffish thinking that that's sort of like the way we need to be then yeah it's going to be a lot harder for people to want to initiate so if you're hearing background noise right now that is my lovely bulldog snoring so that's pretty common in my house anyway so that connecting is really important in just getting, um, acknowledging and naming that there's something in common. Then the third one, which is the T, the T is what I call the teaser. And the teaser is asking a question that then they, they are invited to answer. So I will say that it can be helpful to ask questions that are more specific, also ask questions that aren't yes or no questions, um, or, and, and have it be related to everything we've been talking about. So as you can see right now, you know, you would have, if you were writing online, it'd be one sentence for the first thing, one sentence likely for the second thing, or maybe one or two. And then for the third is, you know, one question. So, um, uh, like, you know, what, when were you volunteering at so-and-so place? Or I love being a part of, um, you know, fundraisers for animals. Um, what, um, what, role have you been playing at the shelter or something? Okay, that was a terrible one. But anyway, trying to do it so it's not a yes or no. And if it is a yes or no, that's probably not the end of the world either, as long as it's on the topic, right? So this gives you a really simple way to basically, you know, tap a, a ball over the net for them to respond back. Here's what this three-step process isn't, okay? 
And this is why I think it's really powerful. And this is why actually I had a lot of success in using this when I was dating online because it really simplified things and kept it energy efficient in terms of being able to reach out to people I was curious about and um, see what happened. What it isn't is it isn't restating your whole life story. It isn't asking a zillion questions. It isn't so uh, neutral or plain that it just doesn't say anything. Because when you're saying like, hey, how's it going? You're not actually connecting. You're, you're just sending a question and it doesn't really give anyone anything to bite on. So when you're bringing into it the connection, then it actually gives that person something super easy to respond to. And it gives them something super easy to basically win at because it's, you know, you've, you're talking about something that they know about and you're asking a question on that topic and they get to respond whatever way. So the other piece of this is just really, really letting go of any need for this to work, any need for this to give you a result. This is something that keeps your energy motion in motion. It's something that invites you to really follow your curiosity and it does open up doors. So, you know, when we're tied and grasped to, okay, they better write back, they better write back and then say they don't, then it's easy to kind of go into the, oh, you know, there's nothing works for me or whatever. So you, so we don't want to go there. We want to use this as a method to keep in motion and to honor the, the actual true hits of curiosity that you're having about people. And um, really, I find this to be a lovely experience and, and a simple way to not um, overwhelm people. Like if you end up writing your whole life story and asking a million questions, it can feel really heavy on the other side. It can feel like there's no way I can get this right. There's so many questions. I'm never going to get this right. And even though they may not be consciously saying that, it can be really off-putting because it's just too much to do. You want to facilitate something that is the ease and flow and joy and playfulness that I'm guessing that you ultimately want in your love relationship. So in summary, the ACT, the ACT formula, inspiring you to connect to people is one, acknowledge and appreciate, two, connect, connect you with that other person and that other person with you. And three, the teaser question, just asking something that is specific and fun and just that one question to get the ball rolling. So as you may guess, this it would be a little bit different if you were in person with someone in person. I would just say use these ideas in whatever order and, and form you want that the more you are listening and interested in other people, the more they are going to feel excited about you. So thank you for listening. If love relationship is what you want to create in the next, next six to 12 months, and you just want help with that, you want that one-on-one -on -one support, please reach out to me and we'll set up a happy and love strategy session. In fact, the link will be in the, the description below and set up a time so that we can look at what is in the way of you having what you want. What is that perfect vision, that, that relationship? What is the right relationship for you so that you're not wasting your time with the wrong relationships? And what are those 
next steps. And what I know is that the beauty of love coaching is that it actually really helps you move and dissolve any of those limitations using proven practices that really get to the, the source of any of our insecurities and fears that have been keeping us in the wrong relationships and unplugging them so that you can have a completely different kind of relationship, which I like to call unicorn love because it's the kind of love that you never thought could really exist, but it does. So thanks for listening. Can't wait to get to know you. We'll see you really soon.